What's up, Writing Workshop? Happy day 33, another analysis day. So one thing I would point out, if you haven't uh, watched through our last lesson videos just because you've been busy um, working on missing work and those kinds of things, I would recommend that you do day 32 first. Um, in day 32, we go over the prompt for your literary analysis essay, and we also analyze a short story just to give you an idea of how analysis works. In today's lesson, um, you actually have a choice on how much analysis you can watch. After you watch this video, Prayer and Directions, it says use the rest of our time to watch as many analysis examples as you need. Uh, you have to select your story, poem, song, or art piece by the end of next Tuesday. So once again, in this essay, you need to choose whether you're going to analyze a short story, a poem, a song, or a piece of uh, fine art, visual art. I'm going to give you some time really this weekend to decide what you would like to analyze. Um, I know a couple of you have already been thinking about um, what type of text or what or what specific text you'd like to analyze. I'll give you until the end of next Tuesday to decide. We can get right into um, outlining for this essay as well. That is next week, so we simply select, select the piece by the end of Tuesday. You can begin outlining over Thanksgiving break as well. That sets us up to, to finish this, this essay and hopefully have some time to revise by the end of the semester. We'll talk a little bit more about current work at the end of this video, so let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity um, that we get to, I'm going to talk about creative pieces. Um, I know sometimes this class gets a little stressful with work. We pray, God, that as we slow down on um, on completing, or as we slow down on new assignments, I pray that students get a good chance to complete past ones as well, that we can finish off this semester strong. Please help us to have fun today as we analyze some texts um, and some art pieces. Please help us to, to see the truths about you that are buried within these pieces too. Jesus, we love you. We thank you for who you are. We pray this all in your name. Amen. Right now, you're watching our prayer and directions video. Just want to kind of walk you through how um, today's lesson works. It does say watch as many as you need, so I'm not going to make you watch all six analysis videos here. You might want to pick and choose the ones that are most relevant for what you want to do. If I go out to day 33, you'll notice three more folders. There's poem analyses, song analyses, and artwork analyses. Inside of each of these folders, you'll see three things. You'll see an overview of devices. This overview of literary devices is the same exact one that, that we saw in the day 32 folder, um, just because that's the same one I referenced as I was analyzing Act of a Hero, the short story. A lot of those same terms apply to poetry as well. Now, I haven't made any of these videos yet. I'll be making them and, and releasing them throughout the day. But uh, inside of this folder, you'll see two poems. There's The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus. That poem is more structured. So if, you're, if you like kind of traditional poetry, you're thinking about doing a traditional poem for your analysis, that's a good one to look at. Grape Sherbet is a free verse poem by one of my favorite poets, Rita Dove. If you like more loose, um, more flowy, more modern poetry, take a look at Grape Sherbet especially. One thing I might recommend, if you already know that you're going to be analyzing a poem, watch both of these, or to give yourself some ideas on how you might analyze yours. Back out. Oh, I should note, for each of these, I'm going to provide a video of me analyzing them. The videos will be short, somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes, so I'll keep it quick. The other things that I will provide for you are the texts themselves. Those will be inside of these, of these pages. Songs as well. Now, for songs, I gave a new link for music analysis terms. With song analysis, you can use um, poetry analysis terms. So you can look for alliteration, assonance, onomatopoeia, any, if it's a narrative, you can talk about characters and plot. The other thing that, that songs add, though, is, is music terms, too. So I found a document from princehenrys.co.uk. I think this is like a music professor who compiled this document, but you'll see just an overview of terms that they use in music analysis too. So as opposed to analyzing a poem, songs add another layer, which is musicality. So as you're analyzing the theme of a song, you can look at its dynamics. You can look at how they control volume. You can look at tempo, how they control the speed of a song. You can look at instrumentation. There's a lot of terms in here. I'll demonstrate some of these as I analyze the two songs in this folder. And those two songs are What Sarah Said by Death Cab for Cutie. In my opinion, one of the most poetic songs ever written. It's one of my favorite songs. So if you're looking for something um, more heartfelt, more poetic, more like soft, rocky, What Sarah Said's a good one there. It's such a great song. That's all I got to say there. If you're looking for some hip-hop, because hip-hop is excellent for poetry analysis, um, I put Intro 3 by NF. I chose this one especially because of um, a specific uh, literary device that he uses throughout that song. 
it's a great example of how an artist might really heavily use a single literary device or two to bring out the theme of a song. Once again, with these, I'll provide a video of analysis, as well as the lyrics for these songs. Last thing are artwork analyses. Now on this one, another link, our um, art analysis terms right here. This one is from the Cleveland Institute of Art right here. Um, just kind of an informative document of the terms that they use in analyzing artwork. I would say if you know you want to analyze a piece of visual art, take a read through this document to, to kind of internalize these terms because they're a little bit different for analysis. You probably need to lean on these heavily um, in order to analyze artwork well. The literary devices that we use for short stories and poems don't necessarily always translate over into art. Obviously some things do, symbolism does, but you're not going to be able to analyze, say, characters or plot um, as well as you can in a story or poem or song. I've provided two pieces of artwork to look at here. There's Starry Night, famous, famous uh, image by, by Vincent Van Gogh. There's also the Holy Cross, which is actually a meme I saw on, on Facebook. But it's well, it's well painted. It's well done. I don't know who, who did it as an artist. But I do want you to see that you, can, that you can dig up themes and you can dig up pretty deep analysis, even from not-so-serious artwork as well. I, admittedly, I am not an art expert. So there's probably um, methods of analysis that I have no idea about with these, two, um, with these two images here. But I would show you how I would tackle analyzing these if I had to write an essay about both of these. On each of these, you'll see the image within the video itself. So once again, I would point out, watch as many analysis examples as you need right here. I do not expect you to watch all six of them, although you can if you like. What you might wanna do is, is watch the ones that are most relevant for you. So if you know you're gonna do a song, watch both songs and maybe a poem just to get some extra practice. If you know you're doing artwork, maybe do both art pieces and do a song for extra practice. If you're not sure um, what you'd like to do analysis-wise, I might recommend that you watch one of each. You can just pick and choose which, which poem, which art piece, which, which song you'd like to watch my analysis for. Each of these videos is somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes, so I'm keeping them pretty short. Again, next week, I'll have you select your piece for literary analysis. That's gonna be our journal entry next week. And then you can begin outlining, as I'll give that to you in our next lesson. I should also point out, I know and there are a number of missing assignments in the gradebook, and I know that I haven't put in um, persuasive essays into the gradebook yet. I'm going to be working on those over this weekend, so by all means, get yours completed and submitted if you haven't yet. You can always double back to these analysis videos over Thanksgiving break if you need to catch up. Um, I will be reaching out to you over Thanksgiving break uh, just to set up plans for passing if you are significantly behind, but you can make that much easier for yourself by staying on top of missing work today and this weekend. Best of luck and have fun today.